Hi, my name is Jason Pritchard and I'm 32 years old. I was born in Red Deer but raised in Calgary for most of my life. I've been a part of an organization called Youth with a Mission for the past 10 years or so. And I'm married to my uh, beautiful Finnish wife named Perita. And I also edit these videos. And this is my story. So I was about two years old when my parents divorced. And for a short time period, it was just my twin brother, Justin, and I and my mom. And she was welcomed in by her mom, my grandma, where we slept on her floor. And for a short time period, we didn't have much things. I mean, a lot of the stuff that my mom had was secondhand or things she won off a radio station, like a VCR. So the beginning of my life was kind of a humble beginning until she met a very godly, Christian, conservative man who is my stepdad. As a young boy, I think it was hard for me to grasp whether or not having two dads was a good thing or a bad thing. I think at times I looked at it like it was a good thing, that it was like double the Christmas presents. It was totally cool to have two dads. It wasn't later until life that I realized that it was difficult. It was difficult for me to grasp and understand fully God's love and acceptance for my life. In the world with my mom and my stepdad, we were really well taken care of. I mean, we were taught disciplines, we were given boundaries, we ate meals together. My mom taught us to be very polite, very well-mannered. We just had a healthy upbringing on that side. And on the other hand, the world with my biological dad was a lot different. I mean, we could do whatever we wanted, really, and we didn't have any boundaries or disciplines. And the only rule I can remember is just not being able to drink coke for some reason. You know, this world kind of tapped more into the more rebellious side of me. So looking back, I think that my experiences with my biological dad really did affect my view of who God is. And I had trouble viewing him as protective or consistent. I saw him a lot more like my, my biological dad who was harsh at times and upset and passive and I found myself going down this like dark spiral as a teenager and full of destruction and I just couldn't seem to get out of that. It got so bad to a point where my mom had to come and ask me if I wanted to go live with my dad, my biological father. And I remember thinking that this would be the end of everything I have learned that was good for my mom and my stepdad and I would have to give it all up and it would ruin me, and so I refused this. And I felt God tell me that, Jason, you know, my son, you're not even good at being bad. Zooming forward, it was the fourth YOM school uh, where I felt that things really started to change for me. I, at the time, felt like my head was just buried underwater. And I came to some point in the school where I was reading the Bible, and I realized that, you know, I think I manipulate God, I think I use God to, to benefit my life and I'm not seeking him out of a relationship but I'm seeking what I can get out of it and I also realized that's what I've been doing with people all these years. I remember talking to the founder of the school and I asked him some, some random theological question and he, he kindly said, you know what, Christianity, it's, it's actually about a relationship. He kept it very simple, he said it's about a relationship with God. I had just missed the whole point. And it was around this time that uh, my biological dad was actually passing away of cancer. And this was a pretty big deal for my family. It was miraculous because God had used my mom, who is his ex-wife and myself, to help lead him to Christ. And for the next few months, I had just been sitting beside his bedside, in and out of the hospital and discipling him. One day, me and my friend had had it on our hearts to call my dad, and we just wanted to let him know that he was forgiven. Again, I, it just kind of came out of the blue. And I said, no, dad, do you, know, do you know that you're forgiven? He just said, yes, Jason, I know I'm forgiven. It was ironic because the next day, he actually passed away and went to be with the Lord. This past June, me and my wife got back from this marriage boot camp called Time Out with LL Ministries and all this bitterness and this anger had been stirring up in me about my dad from when I was a little boy and yeah I just realized that I needed to forgive him again from my heart. I just basically was crying and just letting out all this pain that I had. I was so sad that he let us down so many times and that he wasn't always a good father. But by the end of that I had released this, this weight and this bitterness that I had. I just let it all go and I said, but dad I forgive you. 
I just want to encourage you, if there's anyone that has maybe hurt you in your life and that maybe you could pray and pray that God just brings these people to your mind or these circumstances that you feel let down and that you could, you could release them from your heart. And as of today, I just feel a sense of freedom, freedom to not seek an approval that I already have. He's telling us that we are his children, we are his sons and daughters, and that what he's just asking of us is to believe, to believe that we are no longer orphans and that we are fully and accepted. Even when our earthly fathers or mothers didn't give it to us, he wants to give all the love that we need. And because of that, we can rest and the fact that we are sons of God and loved by Him.